Good morning everybody. Welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're in the New Testament in a letter from John, the writer of John's Gospel, a letter that comes towards the end of the New Testament, before the book of Revelation. It's the first letter of John, so 1 John chapter 4. It's a letter that John has written during his old age to people who have been followers of the way, who are scattered everywhere. And it's writing a general letter to them, encouraging them, encouraging them to live the way of Jesus. You'll remember before, I've said a number of times, I've read something that begins with therefore or so that. And they've come at the end of a piece of teaching where he, the writer, has laid something out and says, you should do all these things because of this. Well, this bit begins at the other end. It's at the beginning of a piece of teaching. He's laying out something for them. And he goes on later to say, and because of all this, <coughs> just thought I'd point that out. Um, anyway, this is 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. <coughs> Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God, because God is love. Dear friends, he says, let me tell you something significant and important. Dear friends, I'm writing to you as a dear friend. And he goes on to say this very profound statement. Let us love one another. That's really what the good news about Jesus is all about. It's about love. It's about the love the Father has for all of us in sending his son Jesus to die for us, the ultimate sacrifice. It's about the love of Jesus in following the Father's will, in going to the cross. Even though he knew how awful it would be, he went to the cross willingly for our sakes. It's about the love that we have for Jesus in doing that for us, and in response, giving ourselves to follow his way in this world, and emulating his attitude towards other people, an attitude of love. That's what makes it all work, the Christian faith, all hang together. It's the love that God, a Father, has for all of us. Love comes from God, he says. Let us love one another because love comes from God. Love isn't a concept we've made up. It isn't something that's just inherent in the nature of human beings or other animals, perhaps. It's there in the very nature of the world in which we live. So is hate, so is fear, so are the opposite things. But love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God. That's a strong statement. What does it mean? Well, that's the subject of several other sermons which you can tune into and watch, or better still, come along to church and join in with when we're allowed back in church. Everyone who loves has been born of God. That is to say that if we ex uh, express love in our lives towards other people, we are doing what God the Father wants us to be doing. And what is love? Is it affection? Is it kindness? Is it putting others first? Is it What is love? It's a, it's a complex issue. But all of those things make up what love is. And we know that the ancient Greeks had several different words for the word of love, meaning all different kinds of love. We tend to have that one word that communicates all sorts of things. Love for your brother or your sister, love for an ice cream on a hot day, love for your husband or wife, love for God. It's all lumped together in one word. But God is love. It all it originates from him and with him. And he goes on to say, everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. We can know God in our hearts and minds and lives if we live a life of love. It's a, a commandment given to us, love one another by Jesus. But it's amazing how often we don't do that, how often we're cynical towards one another, how often we look down upon some and avoid others. and We don't act very lovingly towards them. He sums all this up in that sentence there, because God is love. God isn't somebody sitting on a cloud somewhere. He isn't someone pulling strings of the puppets on earth. God is love, pure love. Not easy sometimes for us to talk about love, especially if you're a bloke. It can be a bit awkward. But 
there's something to think about today. God is love and he commands us to love one another. Whew. Calm down, take a breath, have a nice day.